this woman realized her son wanted to be her son and not her daughter when he was only four years old. When he started refusing to wear dresses. She wants to remain anonymous, as does her son. He lives life as a boy, and not many people know he's transgender. At this point in time, that's not really something that high school kids come out with because it's, it's a problem. For three years, he was using the boys' bathroom at Socasty High School. One day last October, he says a male teacher was walking out of the boys' bathroom when he was headed in. He must have looked at his records and, and saw, you know, the, the sex on his records because it's the only way he could have known. The next day, the student says administrators called him into the office and told him he could either use the girls' bathroom. If he started using the girls' bathroom in the 12th grade, it's going to create a problem, and I, I felt that that would be dangerous. Or he could go to the nurse's office. The nurse's office is downstairs on the first floor. The school has three stories. He tried avoiding the bathroom altogether. He was holding it. He was trying not to go, and all of that's unhealthy. So his mom told him to keep using the boys' bathroom. Two weeks ago, he left an assembly to use the bathroom. The closest one was dirty, so he went to the next one, and he says a teacher followed him. He used the boys' bathroom. The next day, he was suspended from school for a day. They did not give me a copy of the write-up. They did not talk to me. Now the student is enrolled in an online school. While he can study and go to the bathroom freely at home, he's missing out on everything else school offers. He's had to stop drama. He had to drop out of the play that he was doing. And his mom worries about this happening to other transgender students in Horry County Schools. Let the transgender kids be themselves. Let them be safe and let them be comfortable. You know, and let them be able to have their education in an environment where they're not harassed, you know, or felt to be unsafe.